So now we talk about the um, intercept coefficient. So we know uh, how to estimate the alpha, right? And but what is the uh, given assumption of the uh, variability, right? We say epsilon is follow a uh, mean zero and constant variance, right? And if that's the case, what is the uh, variance of alpha, right? Because depends on what data you obtain, right? And each time is different because different alpha, sorry, different epsilon, different epsilon, which will convert into different alpha, different beta. So alpha and beta will then be uh, random variable because epsilon variable and then we generate different y, right? Because y will be also subject to this random. So that's why uh, when we estimate the alpha and beta, we'll have a, a different thing. Okay, so that's why we want to talk about how variability of alpha. By doing so, we can do hypothesis testing on alpha and beta. So in particular, we will show this expression, why the variance like this, we will show it uh, immediately after the next line. But suppose it's true, and further assume uh, epsilon is a normal distribution, right? Mean zero, okay? And uh, constant variance, but already we know it's a mean zero constant variance, but additional assumption with a normal, uh, normal distributed, normal distribution. Then what it means will be uh, the alpha hat will be also following a normal distribution with mean alpha. Why? Because it's a what we tell why this is the case because the Gauss mass core theorem is a blue alpha here is a unbiased estimate of alpha. Okay, so that is uh, why it's alpha here. And this part is the uh, variance part. Okay. And take a square root will be the uh, standard error. Okay. So now we're trying to show why this variance of alpha hat is this uh, complicated fraction. Okay. We need some uh, free slides of proof. Okay. So bear with me. Go to technical part. So to save notation, um, we will denote SXX is uh, sum of the square uh, X. Okay. It's XI minus X bar square and some of that. Okay. And now we know alpha hat, okay, replaced by its expression will be y bar minus beta uh, hat uh, x bar, okay. Now x y bar will be equal to sum of the y of n, okay. And x bar is x bar, okay, because x are fixed, so there's x bar is fine. But beta bar will be uh, sum of x i minus x bar, y i minus y bar, and s x x, right. Um, then what you do is. Uh, Take the y out, right? Okay. And because remember this, okay, can be be written from here is y i minus y bar x, but also can be written as x i minus x bar y i. Okay. So that's why y bar can be taken out. So there's no y bar here. So that remain x i. So what? Uh, you can take out the y minus y bar. Okay. So that's common yi, take the yi out, okay? And 1 over n is here, and xi minus x bar, and x at x, okay? And remember, this expression in the, in the bracket, right? Because x are constant, only x here. So you can take out, okay? And the variance will have a square, okay? And sum of it, okay? So this is the expression. Uh, and now we want to uh, further do something on this to simplify, okay? And uh, now we know the yi right is alpha uh, plus uh, beta epsilon right, and that's why the epsilon only the variability epsilon right, so that's why it's uh, uh, will be the sigma square okay, and this square we can expand out right because it's one over n square sum of it. Uh, the cross product, right? Two times this times this, right? And this is square, okay? And sum of it, okay? And look at the middle guy, right? X bar can be taken now, and the sum of X minus X bar, so this is zero, right? Because sum of all the difference between X and its mean will be zero, okay? So sum of the one over N square with one over N, right? And this is, uh, in fact, uh, uh, is 
one of its SXX and that's why eliminate this one SXX okay so that is how we get this expression and we can uh, collect terms here right and uh, here okay and SSX is in the numerator here and it's n x bar okay and this one okay you can expand it right x i square minus 2 x i bar and x bar right and then you can see will be minus 2 x bar plus 2 x bar and so that's why uh, this is gone so that's why with this expression okay now we talk about hypothesis thing right so we want to see whether the alpha is certain to certain number a usually it's zero right we want to see whether the intercept is zero or not okay uh, but sometimes we want to see r than zero and because we say alpha is normal distribution right and the standard error is like that then we know uh this is standard uh t distribution right with the of m minus two okay and we can do hypothesis testing on it okay we don't repeat it but you know how to do it and uh the confidence interval again the same idea the point estimate will be uh will be just what we have right it's unbiased estimator then the interval of the uh, confidence right will be the t m minus 2 over 2 is standard error of this right so the interval will be uh, the mean estimate plus minus the margin of error okay so this is the uh, the intercept coefficient so in the next video we we'll talk about the slope